Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video. So today we're looking at the brand new GT skins for Firebird and Wasp. Now I believe this is the first turret GT skin to actually be a tiny bit different from the HD version. You can see here it has that little nice eye hole, but then you go to standard Firebird and it actually doesn't have it. Or at least the eye hole is lit up, whereas on the normal HD version it's not. So finally we get something of a change on the GT turrets. Again, the big reason people don't like the turrets on the GT skin combos is that they're not really changed. At least you get a little bit of a change, but still, if Tanky's going to release more GT skins, we need to see a massive change with the actual turret design, because we're getting all these new GT skins in combos, but people really only care about the hole. Now, the hole, in my opinion, is by far the best part, obviously. You get it in the minigame, and I'm honestly hoping we'll get a token of apology with some gold pass, tank coins, premium, because the game's been on and off every hour or so for a week now. And honestly, whether it's Tanky's fault or not for the servers being bad, they deserve everyone or to give everyone a token of apology. I mean, I remember back when the game basically went down for a full week a year and a half ago, just over a year and a half ago, they gave the biggest token of apology we've ever seen. And honestly, with the minigame going on and the elite pass, they're going to probably have to increase the time for all of that. I mean, you can't play. It's just the big thing. It's been on and off every single day for the last week. The game is good for an hour, then it's bad for an hour. The game's good, it's bad, it's good, it's bad. That's the big problem. I'm hoping Tanky won't use the excuse that, oh, the game was still pretty much working the entire day. You know, why do the players deserve a token of apology? The big thing is just the hassle of having to deal with, oh, is the game working right now? I wanna play. Oh, it's not working. Oh, well, can't play, gotta wait an hour. So I do think we'll get a token of apology. Because if they don't increase the time of the actual minigame, I mean, we've lost a few days in playtime because of the whole server issues. So getting at least a free gold contract will help subsidize the time lost a decent amount because a gold contract is 10 spins and most people are probably doing a lot of the silver contracts. So 10 full silver contracts is a few days of grinding. So I think getting a free gold pass would help subsidize the amount of time lost. So I went ahead and put on Thunder XDHD since Wasp Thunder is a go-to combo for a lot of gold hunters. And I can't lie, it actually matches pretty darn well. The lights on the side match perfectly with the gold look, which honestly really makes the skin match really well with the Thunder XTHD. Because you have the gold and then the lights that light up on the GT match the gold almost exactly, making it look pretty darn nice. Now, Wasp GT, I'll have to get it on my main account, or that's the goal to get it on my account, and actually see how I like it with all the other skins. Because as you guys know, the new skins that Tanky makes over the last two or three years are all HD, whereas the old skins are 720p, and the old skin and new skins don't really match all that well because the quality difference makes it just seem a little bit odd using it. So everyone's sticking to the old XT combos, but now that we're getting a decent amount of variety of the HD skins, sure we're only sadly getting a few every year. I'm hoping Tanky's gonna increase the amount we actually get every year, but maybe when we actually get a decent variety of HD skins, there'll be a lot more actual combos that we can use, so we're not just matching the same HD combos together. Because that's the big thing I've noticed, is that a lot of the HD combos, they kind of only match with each other. It's kind of hard to actually mix and match the different HD skins. There's so many of the old Flash XT skins, they mix and match very easily because there's so many, whereas XT HD skins, there's only like four of them, so there's not really too much mixing you can really do. Same with the demonic skins. There's only three sets of demonic skins, so you can kind of only use those three sets of turrets and holes. So you're kind of limited to what you can really look like because the demonic skins don't really match all that well with the old skins. Honestly, I'm really enjoying the Wasp GT though. I'm kind of disappointed we got a GT skin for a minigame since I really want Tanky to actually branch out and try a bunch of different one-off skin series. That kind of goes against my whole idea that the HD skins don't match that well with other HD skins. But I think if Tanky did it right, we could have a bunch of one-off skin series Hornet Railgun skin series, Wasp Thunder skin series, that isn't really brought back, maybe a cool water themed skin series where maybe there's like a waterfall going over the tank, or just something super unique Tanky could try to go out of their way and do, make a one-off thing and not actually make it a stupid series of skins, because I think Tanky's kind of locking themselves in a box by only making new skins for the already existing skin series in the game. It would be really cool if Tanky tried a bunch more one-off and unique ideas. You know, take a risk, Tanky, honestly. That's the big thing. Take a risk. But yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think about this skin series. I do like the Wasp one. It's probably one I'll end up using with Wasp Thunder since I have the brand new Thunder XTHD. It looks pretty darn good. Don't forget to use credit tag Taspins if you're going to ever buy anything in the shop. I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace out.